Hello gamers. Welcome to another one of my videos on Retrobat. In this video, I am going to install MAME emulator via Retrobat to run on Nintendo game and watch ROMs such as Popeye, Donkey Kong Jr., Octopus, etc., and where to put the artwork for our games. Set up the MAME settings such as input assignments and video options. I have already downloaded and extracted Retrobat onto my desktop. Are you ready to retro? Let's go. Open Retrobat. Go to Retrobat icon and press X on your keyboard. Find MAME and press X. Use your mouse and left click on Yes to install MAME emulator. Once installed, we can exit MAME and Retrobat. As you can see, I have ROMs and artwork folders on my desktop. Both the ROMs and artwork must be of the same file name, as shown here. We are going to put our ROMs in Retrobat backslash ROMs backslash game and watch folder is shown here. Now we open Retrobat. Before running the game, open the main menu and go to Game Settings. Per System Advanced Configuration. Game & Watch. Emulator. Change Emulator to Main 64. Exit the main menu, then go into Game & Watch menu. As you can see, our ROMs are detected by Retrobat. It is playable now, but as you can see, all the games has no background or artwork. This is not the retro game that we remember it looks like. This is not what we want. Let's fix that. Exit Retrobat. Open File Explorer and go to Retrobat backslash saves backslash main backslash artwork folder. Now put the artworks here, as shown. As we go back to Retrobat and open one of our games, as you can see, the game looks better than before. This is what we want. Press the Tab key on your keyboard. Double click the video options. Double click screen hashtag zero. Select unit only. Press escape key to exit the menu. Now our games is in full screen. To start the game, we can set the input settings as to our preferred keys or joypad buttons. Press tab again. Select input settings. I prefer to set the input assignments for this system only. Here, you can double click on any of the options and it will wait for your input assignment. As for example, game A will start by pressing number 1 on your keyboard. You can change it to letter A, as it is more obvious for game A, and B for game B. To quit the games, press escape key or you can just press the alternate plus F4 to go back to Retrobat. Let's change our theme and scrape some artworks. From main menu go to updates and downloads. Themes. I choose this theme called Arcade Planet, there are many that you can choose from. Select Install. When finished, go back to Main Menu. User Interface Settings. Theme Set. Change it to the new theme as shown. Click the Back button to activate the new theme. Open Main Menu again. User Interface Settings. This time choose Theme Configuration. Game List View Style. Verti Carousel. Go back to main menu again. Scraper. Game and Watch. Scrape now. When finished, go to Game Settings. Update Game Lists. Choose Yes. Now our UI is looking better than before. This is what we want. Let's launch a game. If you like this video, gives it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.